Hey everyone, it's me Demi and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a quick video on how you can print from your Procreate app on your iPad or iPad Pro. So yesterday, <clears throat> after Valentine's dinner, while I was eating my cupcake, I was working on my sticker sheet. Uh, for my like the watercolor spring sticker sheets that I'm going to be printing um, <clears throat> for the transition from Valentine's to spring. So I was working on this and I thought to myself, okay, maybe there is a way on how I can print straight from my Procreate app without having to export it. So what I did yesterday, and I, I might be coming off as a complete noob, maybe a lot of you procreate procreate users out there already know this but i just learned this it never dawned on me so you know crop and resize my canvas go to my settings and do seven by 9.25 all right so now i have a clear blank canvas i always like to remove the background color because i always like to see um the true png look right so I'm going to do this one, the Hello Spring. Really cute spring look. Look at this clip art. It's super pretty. I absolutely love this little, little hut or cottage with the little blue jays, the birdhouse, the little fence. I think this is super cute. So what I'm going to do, and one thing that I realized also yesterday was if I was to just crop and resize from here, Go to the settings and then do 7 by 9.25. It's going to chop off a lot of my sticker. So let me show you. You see, it chopped off a good amount on the left side and the bottom. I don't want that, right? So what you have to do is go to the actions tab, copy your whole canvas because it's a lot easier than having to import each PNG or copy and paste each PNG to your new canvas. So I already copied the whole canvas. And then I'm going to go to the one that's with, with the dimensions of 7 by 9.25. And now I'm going to paste. And now it will fit directly onto the, the My Happy Planner template uh, sizes, right? So now, and this is something that I didn't realize before, is that um, if you were to have um, a canvas with certain dimensions um, that are not 8.5 by 11, like a letter size, when you go to share PDF or JPEG or whatever you want to print, I always choose best, print, it's going to, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's going to print with that scaling of the seven by 9.25. So I don't have to export it anymore as a JPEG or PDF and download on my laptop. Instead, once, once I, if I initially size it to have those dimensions, it's gonna print within that scale. So I'm not gonna click print because I don't wanna waste coloring um, for this uh, tutorial. Because I'm going to print this these stickers um, in sticker paper, and I really want to have the sticker paper. Uh, I want to use most of my sticker paper, um, and not and not waste like a good chunk of it. So, as you can see, it did scale it down already, like to the dimensions that I wanted, and it's going to print within the seven by nine point two five format. So I really didn't know that, and I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, I figured it out yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cancel this. However, I am going to print my template, the one that I made in my previous video on, on my Polaroid um, template. So I'm going to create a new one. Oh, wait. Go to add. I'm going to add a new canvas. It's going to be a paper size. So I'm going to go to the canvas tab, crop and resize. The settings and now I'm going to do it again 7 by 9.25 so now I have a new one no not that one go to my template that I made 
the other day. I'm going to copy that canvas and then have it fall into that canvas and into that sizing. Okay, so now I'm going to share this one. I'm going to print PDF, print, and then I'm going to print it on my laser printer, my brother printer. Okay, so it's exporting right now. It's going to print. Um, and let's see how it comes out. Um, so I kind of, you know, I think I'm going to be using this format, the 7 by 925 when I'm doing dashboards, when I want to print a dashboard or cover pages, for instance. This is a dashboard that I was working on, but here, this is how I was doing um, my, my the dashboards or the covers because I have little trim marks that I made myself. As you can see, this is all the clip art I have used. And here on the, the, the very top layer is my crop marks. So when I print this out, right, when I print it out, it's going to print with the white border and then I'm going to be able to tell where I want to, where I'm going to be cutting with my guillotine cutter. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is another set of uh, stickers that I was working on last night. Let me print this one. And this one, I don't want it to go to the laser printer because I do want it in color. My brother printer is simply black ink, black toner. And my HP Envy, which I highly recommend, uh, HP Envy Photo Series, because it prints really good quality um, <clears throat> images, like real crisp. But of course, you have to match the, the paper settings with the paper. Okay, guys, so it's also very important to make sure that you have the, the paper that you're using um, match correctly with the printer. Like um, whenever I load paper into my HP, it'll ask me if it's plain paper, um, photo paper, a speciality matte or speciality gloss. So you really wanna try to um, put the paper type as accurately as possible because that will help prevent a smudge or you know it not printing so well. This is the sticker paper that I use um, to print my clear stickers. And let me show you. This one just came out. So this is the watercolor stickers that I was making on my iPad. I'm not sure if you guys remember seeing it really quickly, um, but this is it. Look at how cute the sticker sheet is. I tend to always print a little bit larger because um, I do like a lot of my stickers to take up most of my page, but you know, how cute is this? This is just really cute and I think this is a good, um, this is a good clip art that will match my spring um, concept, my, my idea, my theme, and my monthly and my weekly sheets, we weekly spreads. <clears throat> Anyways, so I did print out my template with the, the dimensions by of 7 by 9.25 with a canvas uh, settings. So as you can see, it printed within those dimensions and I think it came out fine. I think it came out great and you know what? It might save me an extra step doing it this way by creating a canvas with those um, dimensions and you know, maybe I don't have to send any more to myself uh, to my laptop as a PDF. But if you're someone who has both like a, the big planner and a classic planner, I would just, you know, stick with the letter size and just scaling it down because um or unless you you plan to have a big planner that way you can you can have your your template in the big planner format so hopefully you know you guys learned something new today i know i did yesterday and my mind was like blown like that little emoji um because i have never done that before um you know i have made templates i have made um planner covers dashboards and it just never dawned on me
do change my canvas, um, my canvas settings or my the dimensions of my canvas before I started, you know, drawing or or you know creating the 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 dividers or the, the covers. It never dawned on me. However, I'm gonna be doing a video using these stickers. I do plan to uh, print the other set to the watercolor springs set. Let's see. Let me show you guys real quickly. So this is the one we just printed and I'll be doing another video on this uh, using these stickers um, to start my, you know, spring transition. I'm kind of over Valentine's Day already. I really wanted to keep it all Valentine's for the whole month of February, but I'm kind of like, eh, it's enough reds, it's enough pinks. Um, so I'm really excited to make a new video, to start decorating my, <clears throat> my new weekly spreads with the spring, with the spring clip art. Alrighty guys, so that is it. Um, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.